friends hello and this is look at Starry's in her bathroom yeah and this is this is actually going to be a, a short vlog starry video because you know what I haven't done a vlog like a real vlog for a long time and so many of you friends were following me after my accident and I was posting just a vlog because that's all I could do you know, I wasn't able to really be on the homestead making videos for all you friends teaching and sharing and uh, doing all that. So what what did I do? I ended up doing vlogs and all of you friends came along and shared with me my whole recovery, which was was pretty special. It was pretty special. So I thought this morning, uh, while well, I'm just getting up and getting ready to kind of start my day, I was going to bring out the camera and just talk um, simply because I've had a lot of questions lately. I've been posting a lot of different types of videos and all of you friends are like, boo, 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 sorry, sorry, sorry. And you know what I think we're going to actually end up doing, and me and Mr. Hilda talked about this. We're really thinking about maybe once a month sitting down and doing a Q&A with you friends. What do you think? I'm excited about it. All the questions, all the and broad spectrum of areas that we could cover in that Q&A. So let's do kind of a posse, think about it, toil with it, and then you friends get back to me in the comment section and let me know. Is it a good idea? Would you sit and watch a Q&A video from me and Mr. Hilder? All right, and now moving on with the rest of the Starry Vlog because this has to do with all the questions because lately there has been a lot of questions that I just can't keep up on. So Starry Vlog right now is just going to answer some of them and it pertains to my health and my accident because I know, oh, you, you mama and papa bears out there. I have like lots of mothers and fathers that I never had. And I, I thank you because you see me snowshoeing, you see me shoveling, you see me walking on the ice, and the first thing you think about is my neck and my health. I don't know what to say. Just, just thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, I've never had such an outpouring of concern and love, so it's pretty special. But I want to talk about where I'm at with my fracture, because from the accident, the fracture was five. My C5-6 healed. It healed, stable, but it was bone on bone. I don't know if you watched the video where I went to Spokane to see a second neurologist who assessed me over an hour it took. And when he assessed me, he was very confused because the MRI showed right there in plain black and white that my, my uh, spinal cord was completely pinched off from the break. So technically, I should be having numbness, tingling, headaches, uh, gait disturbances, a whole list of things that happen when your spinal cord is pinched. So because I have a, a bad break that healed um, a bone on bone on, on five six, and above that, I have a, uh, a laminectomy fusion from a former surgery, and above that, three four, I have a birth defect, where I have <laughs> a fusion, a, a natural fusion, a birth defect fusion. So my whole neck is messed up. But what I couldn't understand during this whole neurological assessment was why I didn't have any deficits. And he said, you know, Starry, um, you should technically be in surgery right now today. And technically, you shouldn't be walking. You, you know. He wouldn't admit that I was a miracle, but medically, didn't get it. So what his advice was in three months to come back for another MRI and see where, which is funny because what's going to change? <laughs> you know, come back in, in a couple months for another MRI and if I do develop any, any, any symptoms, he's like, that's it. We're going in and we are going to do surgery. But in the meantime, he gave me instructions. He said, you can carry on your activity, but the activity I don't want you doing is stuff that is going to be compressing that spinal cord, like you're running. No more trail running. He said, mountain biking, if there is a risk that you're going to fall off the bike and crash, he says, I don't want you doing it. But everything else, like snowshoeing and, you know, skiing, I'm a very proficient skier, shoveling snow, I can move. It's the decompression uh, that will degenerate my neck faster and put it at risk. Yeah, and, and this is me as a nurse, too. I firmly believe, as a nurse, that part of recovery is staying moving, not just, you know, we have to stay moving to stay healthy. 
So we could all go in a corner and curl up in a ball and live in a bubble, but we can't. We have to continue living. And my trust in the Lord is very strong. I am convinced that he has healed me. The proof is in the pudding. I mean, even the neurologist was like, hmm. But it doesn't mean I'm going to take unnecessarily risks because the Lord doesn't want me to do that. And he wants me to be, to be smart. So friends, all you who love me, and I love you, I do. Just remember, when you see me snowshoeing and shoveling, it's okay. It, it, it is okay. I'm all right. Um, that's why I wear the s snowshoes. Uh, I don't like to walk on the ice anymore because I don't want to fall. So I really do. I am more aware of everything that I'm doing. But it is okay that I continue to move and do these things because if I didn't, I'd probably be worse off. Okay, so now that you understand that, uh, the update on the whole lip and the, the tooth. I didn't bring you friends along with me to the, the dentist. I actually had the camera, took some footage, but it wasn't very pleasant. Uh, I did get my bridge. See, I don't know if you could see that. So I, this tooth is permanent now. Um, my mouth feels like it's really messed up. Uh, the healing process, even, you know, they took out all the, the, the scar tissue. Uh, it's very thick. I can't touch it because it feels really weird. Um, I feel like it's like this big. And I know when you look at me, it looks very normal. But my mouth is kind of the biggest thing that just bugs me so much. You know, the neck, I've never been able to move the neck much. This is, this is my range of motion. I can live with that. But all this is horrible. When I eat and drink, and this, this bridge is thick, it's cumbersome, I hate it. I really hate it, but I am still very happy that I've got got an upper lip. <laughs> I mean, if you think about it, one time you could put a straw. I could put a straw with my mouth closed, breath through the hole. That's pretty scary. And then the other update is, I don't know how I can show this to you, uh, physical therapy. Here, let's see, I'll put this down. My arm, my arm, remember this was not diagnosed right away, and it was horrible. So I know Jesus healed my arm, but I had to do physical therapy and I want to show you. Let's... Okay, can you see me? All right, so I'm going to show off. Watch. Okay, this is my bad arm. If you remember, I could only like this all the time. Pain, pain, pain. Look at that. Look at it. Look. Look. Straight up. I have graduated. I can reach to heaven. <laughs> and... Okay, you know, side, everybody has side. I couldn't do side. Look at this. Watch, watch, watch. Look at that. And then the hardest part, because trying to get, uh, get dressed in the morning was awful. And in fact, someone sent me a big, big box of clothing that uh, was uh, easy for me to, to wear, clothe, easy wear clothing because of this. You know, I never did get to thank her. So whoever you are, because I got, I got so many gifts. Thank you for the clothing, because it saved my life. But look behind this. Look at how much further I can go up. Now, obviously, this is the good hand, but look at that. Before, I could only go like this. Now, with the help of my other hand, so that's going to take a long time, but isn't that, isn't that, I mean, God is so good. So, and you friends, like I said, you friends have been with me the whole way with the Starry Vlog. I mean, come a long way. Ah, so, oh, and another thing. I, I gotta think, I gotta think. I keep, I keep getting wonderful gifts, wonderful gifts. I'm gonna take you out here before I say goodbye because I just got another package. And, and oh, Mr. Hilder, he was, he's like, oh, look at what I got. Look at men's eclipse bar for Mr. Hilder. He's always excited when he gets a gift. But I've got, this lady had uh, uh, sent me a letter before, and she, I, I have the letter here somewhere, but just know that she's doing her own homesteading, her and her husband, wonderful people. I, I don't think she'll mind me showing her picture. I love you. <laughs> and I love stories like this because real people, real life, changing um, how they live and empowering themselves because of I don't know, because of me and Mr. Hilder. Look, she even has sloggers, <laughs> and I love that. So um, we got the box of soap, a thank you. But it, it's not the gifts, it's the stories. It's, it's you, friends, sharing uh, 
how you've how how you've made changes in your life. How maybe me and Mr. Hill inspired you. Uh, it really is a God thing. And then look in, in the mail. I also got from James Leo. Oh, this kid, he's so cool. I get so many kids um, giving me, uh, writing me letters. And he uh, sent me a wonderful gift. Look at this. To Starry. <laughs> this is a clamshell I found on our local beach from James. You know what? These parents are raising these kids right. I love this. I love this. So this is why I do what I do. This is why I do the vlogs and the homesteading videos and all of it. it it's, it's, not, it's not about the gifts. It's about you friends at home uh, making those relationships, those lasting friendships. It's uplifting each other and inspiring each other on both ends because you know what? This inspires me. And, and um, you know, this, this inspires me to make soap. <laughs> and in fact, look, I just ended up buying some... <laughs> Shea butter and some organic beeswax because I want to get into making some lotions and and lip balms and see you you guys are inspiring me <laughs> works both ways and that's why I love you friends okay I'm blabbering now all right but thank you all right that's a starry vlog day gonna get this uploaded right away and look at that what a goofy day now we got fog today and it's wet and kind of yucky but at least we are, uh, we're dug out. All right, blessings.